London system, probably the most stable opening in the world of chess. When a player chooses to play London system, he is willing to get a smooth game in the opening and in the middle game and create some weaknesses in Black's camp and target it throughout the end game. And one of the major problems from Black that Black players face against London system is that they are not able to create any sorts of counter attack throughout the game. They just keep on defending and the game seems to be very dubious and boring. So here we are with the setup against the London system. So let's get started. London system starts with the move 1 d4, knight f6, bishop f4 and now you directly play c5 hitting the center, e3, d5, knight f3, knight c6 all standard stuffs, h3 making the h2 square available for the bishop on f4 because sooner or later the bishop has to drop back to the h2 square, g6 and now at this point White has got two to three options, either he can develop his bishop to e2, d3 or b5. It's a matter of choice, but bishop e2 seems to be very much logical and sensible. Bishop e2, bishop g7, developing the bishop, castle, castle, c3, cementing the center. Now, as you all can see from the arrow, that black's aim is to break through the move e5. But currently black can't do it because white has got 1, 2, 3. 3 supporters on the e5 square and black has got only 1. That is the knight on c6. So now black needs to make such a move that he makes e5 possible. So therefore black goes for the move knight to d7. Now as you can see there are a number of supporters to the e5 pawn. The knight on d7, knight on c6, bishop on g7 and finally the pawn on e7 is ready to be launched on the e5 square. So white decides to play bh2 a part of one of the main lines. So e5 finally breaking into the center. d into e5, knight d e5, knight bd2, bishop e6 developing the bishop and See, this is the black's idea that I have already mentioned. Black is willing to play the move queen b6, bring his rook to the central files and then break through with the move d4. Let's see how white proceeds. Knight e5, knight e5, knight f3. White is offering an exchange of the pieces but black should not go for it because in our setup, the knight, this knight, especially the knight that is going to be there on the c6 square plays a very important role. So you just bring it back. Now, as I already mentioned, the, this is what we are planning for queen b6, rook f d8 and rook a c8. On the other hand, white has got some options. He can play queen d2, queen c2, queen b3. So for the moment, let's consider queen d2. And after queen d2, before executing the plan, that is the move queen to b6, rook f d8 and all, black needs to make a precautionary move. That is, he needs to play h6. Now, why h6? h6 is one of the, it's as important as the move queen b6, rook f d8 and rook ac8. Because, once you move your queen from the d8 square to b6, white gets a chance to play the move knight to g5. Hitting your bishop on e6 and if you move it, then you lose the d5 pawn. Very important d5 pawn. So for that sake, we play the move h6 and now we are free to execute our plan. So white proceeds with rook fd1, queen b6, rook c1, rook d8 putting the queen in front of the queen. So the queen decides to drop back, queen c2, rook c8, queen goes back and as mentioned earlier, finally we execute our plan that is the move d4. Breaking into the center, cd4 cd4 nd4 nd4 if you want you can exchange more pieces takes takes and finally bishop takes on d4 hitting b2 and f2 at the same time this was just a line maybe white has got some more chances to keep it simple and stable as usual this is what white does in through throughout the game 
when they play London system. But yes, definitely black has got some counter chances. White needs to struggle. White needs to, if not struggle, then at least white needs to give a thought to respond to the black's moves. So this was the setup against the London system. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video and subscribe to YCG and stay tuned for further updates.